In this video, we'll look at different ways to create a data frame from scratch. Perhaps the easiest way to make a data frame from scratch is to use the data frame constructor, passing in a dictionary of column name, column values, pairs. For example, here we build a data frame with two columns, name and age, and for each column, we pass in a corresponding three element list of values. Let's pause for a second to talk about what exactly a data frame is. In short, a data frame is just a table of data with a row index. In this case, the row index is that unlabeled column of values on the far left. To be a little more pedantic, a data frame is a collection of identically sized series, all of which share the same index. Additionally, data frames have a column index for selecting and subsetting columns. We'll touch on that more later. Another way you can build a data frame is from a list of lists. In this case, each inner list represents a row, so you could build the same data frame as before using df equals pd.dataframe and then pass in a list of lists like this. Before we move on, let's talk about a few important tools for inspecting data frames. DF.info is a great tool that basically reports everything you'd want to know about a data frame, including its size, index type, and column types. DF.shape tells you how many rows and columns DF has, just like NumPy does with a 2D array. DF.axes returns the row and column indexes. And DF.size tells you how many elements are in the data frame in total. In this case, if we wanted to change the column name age to years, we would do df.rename columns equals the dictionary age colon years and set in place equals true. 